This is gonna be a tough fight. I come on, I can do this. I wonder what kind of armor he has. I don't know, but he's not gonna die. Is he gonna die? Welcome back to the battlefield, everyone. My name is Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here, and this is another episode of Solo Faction. So it's just me. All by myself. I feel like I do that intro way too often. It's like whenever I'm alone, I get really carried away. But anyways, I've got some big news and announcements for all of you. The Nexus was undergoing a lot of maintenance this weekend. And um, it's, it's finally back up and operational and better than ever. We've updated to 1.8. Um, our faction server is so great now. There's almost zero lag. And uh, there's a bunch of new features. There's actually a new website, which is so much better than our previous. Everything's totally custom and much easier to use. And with that new website, there's also a new store. And the new store is so much more user friendly. It's so much easier to get things that you want now. Whereas before, you had to like add your account, verify it, all sorts of nonsense. But now it's real simple. You just put your username in, and bing, bada, boom, you can buy what you want. And uh, speaking of things that I want, I'm going to go ahead and open these chests with something that I grabbed from the website, which should take effect and be added to my account any second now. Please add to my stuff. I, I bought you a whole 60 seconds ago. Please add. Because <laughs> rather than having to use next sites, which still work all over our server, um, you can now add, and they were just added, beautiful, you can now buy loot keys and ranks and sets and all the things you could ever want for factions or survival games, mutation passes, and if you can imagine, you can now get directly from the store, so it's a big improvement. Um, but anyways, I've got my keys here. So my epic loot key is the stick. We've got the bone for legendary and the blaze rod for the god loot key. I'm gonna go ahead and open these bad boys up and then I'm gonna go ahead and teleport somewhere into the wilderness and uh, engage in some awesome fights against all of you awesome players out there here in the battlefield. So let's go ahead and open the epic chest. Boom! We got Zeus! All right, let's see what Zeus has. Zeus has some pretty powerful enchants. That is Power 9, Punch 3, Flame 2, and Breaking 9, and Infinity 1. So, uh, yeah, Zeus is going to be pretty strong when I hit people with it. Let's open the legendary chest up. We got the Soulless Clownfish. Oh, my gosh. Level 9 sharpness. What a troll random item. And to be fair, a lot of these troll items um, don't have a ton of special effects right now besides the enchants they come with and the custom names and tags. Um, but um, Oinkers, as you know, is the boob plate, the golden one, that will uh, have pigs fly out of your body whenever you're punched. And there's also Mitch Time, the clock, that when you punch someone, it has a 50% chance to either do it to you or them. And it'll just cycle through day and night really rapidly, so it'll confuse the heck out of them. But all these other items like Soulless and um, the Bamboo Stick, etc., etc., will have things added to them soon enough. And also description lines will be added to all these items so you know what they do when you get them. But anyways, let's open the God Loot Chest. We got Razor Wind. This bow is, once again, very strong. Power 9, Flame 4. So if you get lit on fire with this, it's gonna do some damage. You better have a water bucket with you. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, so I think, I've, I think I've had some fun here. Oh, wow, Banana Pig 8 just got Tempest out of the Epic Loot Chest. Good pickup. That bow is uh, going to be pretty strong. It's got some of those crazy custom Ender enchants on them. Anyhow, I'm going to go and warp home. So let's do home, home. Get back to our base. And from our base, I'm going to deposit everything that I don't need to bring with me to the fight. And then I'm going to warp somewhere into the wilderness and start battling people. One-on-one -on -one or group fights, whatever it may be. I'm just going to have a crazy, crazy time. What the heck? is with this big massive nether portal. I'm a little scared. I don't know what it means. I'm gonna just ignore it and continue on with my day. And there's a massive coming soon sign over here. So I think uh, the faction's gods have some stuff planned for Jerome and I. I'm gonna eat the soulless clownfish. Lol, it was a big waste. And uh, yeah, so that's not something you wanna do. What we might add to the soulless fish is when you eat it, It'll give you some super crazy uh, potion effects. It's a one-time use, but it would be ridiculously strong. So that's for another day, though. For now, uh, I'm just going to contemplate what this coming soon could be. I'm going to guess it's going to be a really cool uh, chest, or not chest, quest achievement room, chest achievement room. Well, I guess there could be chests full of loot that we collect along our adventures. But regardless of that, 
Uh, once Jerome and I are back from our travels, because I actually leave tomorrow at the time of recording this, which today, this is going to be some inception for some of you out there. It is April 28th as I record this. I leave tomorrow on the 29th for a full week. Jerome's away right now and he doesn't come back for about a week. So once we're back, we're going to be doing tons of awesome factions live streams and lots of quests and updates and things coming for it. Lots of new servers involved so there's more player slots for all of you to enjoy and most importantly the quests both um, available to all of you and the exclusive ones that just Jerome and I get from the factions gods it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be a ton of fun but I'm gonna quit my rambling and uh, store all these items that I don't need and I think I'm gonna have to OP myself real quick so I have the magic powers to open all of these chests and things there we go and let's find some oh Oh, I guess Jerome killed Kyle. It looks like Kyle earns head. <laughs> I think Jerome, I remember him telling me about that. He did a bounty hunting quest, which is also a new feature on the server. If you do slash bounty, there's none available right now. There's no jobs. Otherwise, I'd be doing one of these right now. Um, you can uh, engage in a bounty and you use a compass to target them. And you can also create new bounties by uh, following the instructions here. And it's real simple. So that's some cool stuff. And, and for example, if you had a bounty or you, or you had a many bounties, it would be in this target selector. Or you can just have the compass point to spawn. So that's very cool. That's that's what this little uh, <laughs> podium is with Kyle's head on it. So that's a really cool way. And mind you, the only way to get player heads right now is via collecting them by bountying. Um, so let's go ahead and find ourselves an empty chest. Is, is my chest room available? No, that's my furnace chamber. I don't have a chest room. All right, we're going to use this one. And we will see. What do we have here? This is white out leggings. I'm going to want to keep that. Uh, let's put those on. We have a whiteout sword. I don't need the dark repulsor. Let's see. Do I want to use destiny? No, destiny's not as good. Am I either going to use razor wind or Zeus? Um, I think I'm going to go with Zeus today because of the knockback. So I can keep shooting them and keep them off of me. And I only need one arrow. It's an infinity bow. And I'm going to keep these ender pearls. I don't need a pickaxe. I got the whiteout sword. Let's choose some armor here. Unbreaking. No thanks. Protection four. Heck yes. Protection four, and that's the helmet I'm gonna go with. And white out, oh, this white out sword's better. White out sword three. We're gonna use this bad boy today. And let's go ahead and put our armor on. It's not the best armor in the world, but it will have to do the trick. Let's reorganize our hot bar a little bit. And we've got some building blocks in case we wanna do a little uh, raid or, or quick escape somehow. I'll bring some of this and some of that, why not? And flint and steel, we're gonna need that. We have the knockback star as well. So this sword has knockback 3, the star has knockback 10. I'll keep that in my hotbar just for banter. It's pretty funny. If I smack someone with it, they're going to go flying like crazy. And do we have any notch apples? There's another golden apple. I'm going to need that. Come on, please tell me we have a notch apple in here somewhere. That's a potion of invisibility. No thanks. Notch apples, please. I just want one of you. Just one little notch apple. Ah, I don't think we have any. But what I can do is let's get rid of the rest of this chunk that I don't need in my inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and go to our cactus farm, which I'm sure is full to the brim now. Holy smokes, no way. How does this, why do we have extra chests here? I guess he got so full. Uh, faction God help, oh. Oh, I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that another episode. So that's a little teaser. That's a little insight to what might be coming soon is some more faction god quests and assistance from from those champion faction gods. But for now, I'm going to go warp shop, head to the uh, frost store, sell all this cactus, because I believe a notch apple costs you 20,000 factions dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one notch apple, which uh, will be quite handy. So let's go into the store, sell this cactus, and then I'll definitely have enough for the one of these apples. So is that it? Oh, I don't want to purchase. I don't want to purchase. Whoops, uh, that's fine. <laughs> I purchased some cactus for no reason. All right, let's sell all of this and sell. Boom, we now have 22,000. Heck yeah, we sold 97 bundles for a profit of 4,850 faction dollars. And I'm gonna come over here and let's see, how much does this cost? I just punch, I right click it and it tells me the price is 20,000. Sneak and right click to purchase. I just bought myself one notch apple. I'm going to hold on to that bad boy because it is going to come in handy. And now I'm going to warp away to my place of destiny. We'll go east. What other warps are available, I wonder? Warp list. Uh, spawn south, northwest, shop, frosty east, old east. Okay. It's not too bad. And the frosty boss is gone anyways. He's a special event. So if you missed him, it's too bad. It's too little, too late. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm going to stop. 
Okay, so I'm going to jump down here and let's see if people start to appear. Oh, well, we've got people jumping down who are unarmed civilians. I'm going to go ahead and donate them one deliciously juicy... Ow. Ow. I, did I just really shoot myself? A very bad feeling I just did. Hey, look over the edge. I dare you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mike, man, I see that strength on you. Or is it a notch apple region? I don't really know. Kill, kill the Chewbacca! I'm, I'm so sorry that I had to do that, but I had to. Someone had to. Alright, and... Two can play this game. Two can play this game! I wonder what kind of armor he has. I see it's diamond, but I wonder what the enchant's on. It's kind of scary. This guy seems to be stacked. It's a bow battle, though. We're having a bow fight. Stay back! I didn't want to hurt you, but I will! Pew! He's bouncing! He is bouncing. I'm going to eat a regular golden apple. Okay. I want to charge him. I want to death march him. Anyone else around? Hey. Go away. <laughs> Got her. Oh, two can play this game if you want to do this. I can shoot you all day. All day, every day. All right, but I'm going to get over the top of this. I want to get to him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to light these trees on fire. I don't know why I did that. That's really mean. All right. I've arrived at my destination. Ow. Yes! Got him in there. I need this notch apple. I don't have a choice. Don't have a choice. Whiteout sword. Whiteout sword. Don't let me down. Oh, he's scared. He's scared. I'd be scared too. I wonder how low his health is. How did I miss that? Get in there, Mitch. Get in there. No, get out of the tree. Do not let him get away. Do not let him get away. Sideshow. You're dead. You're also dead. Thank you. Don't do that again. Oh no, my regen's gone. Don't land in the lava. Oh no. This is gonna be a tough fight. I come on, I can do this! I wonder what kind of armor he is! I don't know, but he's not gonna die! Is he gonna die? Did he eat a notch apple? I have no idea. I gotta eat this. Yes! Keep him Yes! I took him down! Heck yes! With the bow shot of dreams! Oh, baby, where's his gear? Come to me. Come to me. Let's analyze his gear. I wonder what he had. That was crazy. Okay, what a fight. That was actually a really even match. I almost I almost died. Protection, really? He only had protection one. Wow. I wonder what his sword had. Oh, he had Hades Torch. That's what he had. So his sword was a little, uh, his sword was weaker than mine. Whoops. Never mind. You're dead. I'm going to watch you burn to a crisp. Bye. <laughs> That's so mean of me. Well, yeah, his armor was, I guess, kind of equal to mine because it's diamond and I have iron with protection for. I'm not sure the exact differences, but that was a decent fight. What was his bow? His bow was power five. Mine was power nine. So I guess it wasn't super, super equal, but he had some potion effect. I couldn't tell if it was regular absorption or strength or what it was because he had red particles coming off him. I have like pink here with the absorption. Um, let me eat this. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't waste it. I shouldn't waste it. Uh, so he had something. I don't know. What, I think it was strength. I think strength is the red particles. So that's why that sword fight seemed like it was really close. Plus, he kept lighting me on fire a lot. Well, I guess I was doing the same to him. So that was a good matchup, though. Really, really well fought to that player. And what was his name? I'm going to find his name. Uh, good fight, Mike Mo. Really good fight. Uh, I hope to see you here on the battlefield again. Thanks for, uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for the battle. That was great. Let's see who else we can find, though. And uh, challenge here on the Factions Frost server. I really want to find a good raid. That way the next time Jerome and I film together, we can go and conquer a base. That would be so awesome. Because there's some really cool features coming to Factions soon that are going to make raiding so much more enjoyable. Because instead of having to move your cannon 90 times, there's going to be something called schematics. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the real name. That's like the technical behind the scenes name. But I'm not sure what we're going to name it just, just yet. But it's going to be something where you can buy them either as a kit so you can use them every so often or you can buy them in bulk with factions cash and um, you can place them down and it will just instantly build the cannon or some kind of a base for you, some kind of a farm, whatever it may be. It's going to have the ability to uh, instantly build it so you don't have to sit there and grind it out. So if you need to move your cannon, you'll be actually able to instantly build the cannon itself and then sort of pack it back up and then unveil it again. So it's going to be a real handy tool and uh, really looking forward to when that's released. It should be coming out early May. Um, and the other thing to somewhat spoil for you is that 
every single week once we start the first release. And I'm just kind of running around here aimlessly looking for players. Oh, there's a chest here in the wild. Hello. <laughs> I think this might be the place I fought. Um, I can't remember their name, but I had a nice 1v1 best of three with them. I think this is actually the area. Um, regardless, um, starting May, we're going to be releasing new faction servers once a week. And Jerome and I are going to be going absolutely ham with live streams and uh, really, really fun, exciting ways to play with all of you. Because I know that Frost, it's, it's tough to play because there's it's only 150 player slots and there's so many of you who want to join. And um, on these new servers, it's just going to allow more of you to play. And, and have fun. And it's also gonna be MCMMO on all the new servers. Factions Frost has some unique features that will only be available here, but uh, MCMMO will be on all the new servers. So that's something cool to look forward to too. Um, let's see, uh, who wants to fight? Come out of there. All right, let's see if anyone jumps down and uh, wants to battle me. I'm gonna set up a little trap actually back here. A little something something. A little something something for my friends. Yes, come over the hill, you. Oh no, oh no. Oh, he's running, he's running, he knows. Oh no, burn him, burn him. Ow, I've been withered, I've been withered tagged. This sucks, this sucks, this sucks. I think I might be a goner. I think he's got really good stuff, he does. Holy smokes, holy smokes. Light him on fire, knock him out of here. No, 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 not like this, not like this. His gear is so good, his gear is, I'm gonna wither to death. I'm dead, I withered, I withered away. Holy smokes, max attack 217. I had no chance there. He had a special item from one of the loot chests with an ender enchant that applied wither to me when I got hit. Ugh. I really, really needed something there to, to counteract that. There's different armor enchants that block out wither and these other ender enchants. So it's crazy. It's nuts. Um, there's so much more to learn and do in factions for both Jerome and I. But regardless, that is going to do it for this factions episode. I had some good kills, a great fight with Mike Mo, and then I died to, who got me? Who got me? And then I died, yeah, max attack. And I'm glad it calls that out from Pro Liam. Pro Liam. I guess that's the custom enchant or something, or the name of his sword or his ax. But geez, that demolished my health like it was nothing. I was not prepared for that kind of a fight. So that is gonna do it. Um, I guess I'll spoil one more factions thing because I'm sure some of you know it's coming soon because every time you join the Frost server, it says it's available, but it's coming really soon, which is dual arenas. Two types, one where you can bring your own gear and the other where there's preset kits. So it'll be a very, very balanced fight. Or if you wanna bring your own gear and, and see who's, uh, who's better with the stuff they've collected and earned on their factions questing, then you can definitely do that too. But that is it. I am finished with this episode of Solo Factions. I had a great time, and I hope you all enjoyed watching. And of course, if you did, slap that like button. Let's go for over 9,000 likes. And um, all the information you could ever need is in the video details. There are some coupons for 100 next sites, as well as some for 50% off of our store. And I think that will just about wrap this up. I will see you next time. Love you a long time. Appreciate you watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.